Hello there. Right, today we're going to cook a whole chicken in a halogen oven. Now this chicken weighs in at 1.35 um, kilograms and they say in a conventional oven it's 1 hour and 25 minutes. So we're going to try it in the halogen oven today and see how we get on. I'm using the rack underneath so the juices drop away. I've had a little look to see whether or not to put the rack straight on. There's so much out there that I've read around when you're cooking a whole chicken and it's very confusing. Some people do it straight directly without the spacer. Other people do it with the spacer. It's got to affect the cooking time, but the way I see it, that's going to burn. So I'm going to cook it with the spacer and then we're going to see how long it actually takes to cook that beautifully. I've also popped inside there half a lemon to keep it nice and juicy and succulent. So off we go. Now I've been asked to do this review and I can see why because I've had a little look around out there and, and I can't find anything that's actually very specific about the cooking times and chicken really worries me because I can't, you know, you can't eat it raw obviously. Now one, um, one that I looked at had the spacer 200 degrees and cooked the chicken for 40 minutes. So that seems to be a good starting point to me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cook the chicken for 40 minutes and we're going to see at what point it is within its cooking cycle. I don't think it's going to be cooked enough, but we'll see. So 40 minutes in, I don't know if you can see in there, but you can see the chicken is not cooked. Definitely not cooked. I put this in. The, uh, the gauge, the meat thermometer, and it's coming out at 160, it needs to be up here. And when you put the skewer in anyway, the juices are running out um, pink and horrible, so they're not running out clear. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it over and cook it from the other side. I've turned it over, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of seasonal. You can see it's not cooked underneath, it's too pink. I'm going to give it 30 minutes now, this side cooking down from this side. There we are then, so now we've put the uh, meat thermometer in now, it's well cooked now on this edge here. So that has had 25 minutes on the other side. I'm now going to turn it back over the other way and have a look to see how it looks. Right, I've turned it over, it's looking pretty soggy this side, well it will do because obviously the juices have run to the top of the chicken. So maybe one way of doing it is to do the bottom of the chicken before you do the top. However, I've done it this way now, this is the way we're testing it today. The juices are running clear when I put the skewer in, so that's looking good. So we're saying um, one hour and five minutes for a 1.35 kilogram chicken. I'm actually going to brown that back off again for another five minutes. So I'm going to give it five more minutes to get the top crispy again. Right, five minutes in, there we are, that's all gone nice and crispy now. Again, I'm really pleased with that, so we're going to put the skewer in, check it's all cooked take it out I can tell it's cooked this time because it's shrinking from the bone if you can see there the way that they're shrinking back from the bone so fingers crossed and uh, we'll find out okay so with a 1.35 kilogram chicken the total cooking time I used today was one hour and ten minutes there we are just turned off bang on cue so we're left with these wonderful juices in the bottom of here which make a lovely gravy but we're going to do roast potatoes the downside for me of doing the chicken with roast potatoes because we're having a roast dinner is I can't cook the roast potatoes at the same time as I'm cooking the chicken. If I had an oven, I would have put the potatoes all around the chicken. I've tried doing that before and it doesn't work out. The potatoes don't seem to cook very well. I've tried putting them on the top, on the bottom, all around. So I think that's a slight downside for me if you're doing roast potatoes. However, I've got plenty of time. So the next 45 minutes, I'm going to roast my potatoes in that lovely succulent juices. So now it leaves Al to cut the chicken and check it's cooked. Right, well, here's my little job, <laughs> cutting the chicken. I don't mind cutting chicken, you know, it's a, it's a nice little job, isn't it? Because you always get the taste of it. I always leave a little plate on the side, so it's just handy for me to uh, kind of give it a taster. And there we are, look, I'm cutting her open, she's looking quite nice. I'll just cut this little piece off here, and we can have a little sample, can't we? You've got, you've got, to, you've got to sample chicken, haven't you? And that looks very nice, doesn't it? Very nice piece. So let's just sample a piece here. I've got, to, I've got to give it a go anyway. You know, I mean, it's got to be done, hasn't it, Milka? Right. <laughs> I can tell you, it's perfect. <laughs> so there we are. Beautiful job. Tastes lovely in the halogen oven. And what can I say? Look at it. It looks fantastic, and it tastes fantastic. 
Right, so there we are. All our videos, you know where to go, usual place. Derrick and 33. Keep up the faith, guys, and we'll keep the videos coming for you. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.